my dad didn't really push me anywhere. He wanted me to go wherever I wanted to go. He wanted me to go feel comfortable with my decision because I was the one that's gonna have to live with it. But my mom was always Caroline. I could I could tell. She she wanted me to go to Caroline. Every other visit she would, nah, it's all right, but it's not Caroline. But when we get to Carolina, she was all smiles. Miles' father, Torin, was a running back and cornerback for the Tar Heels from 1986 to 1989. He would later play seven seasons in the NFL. Carolina stuff was always around the house, so like, I kind of knew I had his jerseys when we were younger, and we still have them to this day, so. I mean, it was just kind of the way of life. It's how we, we grew up, so it was nothing crazy or nothing new. It never really had so much significance until I got here and I realized, wow, like it's it's really a legacy that I'm keeping up. It's, it's cool. It's pretty cool. Miles' older brother, Torin, is currently a basketball player at NC State. He's credited with helping Miles develop his competitive work ethic. Everything's a competition, no matter what it is. That made me the player I am today, I think, because I always competed with somebody older than me, he's two years older than me. So I always competed with him. So when I was playing with people my age, it was, came easier. So I think that's the biggest thing, knowing how to compete and not wanting to lose, no matter who it is, they're older, they're a higher rank or anything like that. I always wanted to be better than that person or strive to be the best. Carolina's safeties coach, Tommy Thigpen, played with Miles' father in Chapel Hill and recognizes the same professional traits that made his old teammate successful. He's one of those guys that's self-motivated, uh, and, and that's a tribute to his father. His father, you know, passed those work habits down. I mean, you go into your film room, and you know, you're not saying to the kids, "Hey, uh, I need you to go watch tape." You know, some kids you say that to, but then with him, you just go down there without even saying a word, and you'll see him with the, you know, with a pillow and a blanket, and he's been there all day studying. He's that kind of guy that you don't, you know, you don't have to look over his shoulder or anything like that. He never shows up on a list. He never late for anything. He's always first class. You know, that's one of the kids you say he is his father. His daddy bought him up the same way that he bought as himself, and that discipline is carried on over to, to him in, in college athletics. Dickman is on every wall here, if you haven't really looked. So he was a great player also, as well as a, a good coach and a good recruiter. So when he came, I knew what, what I was getting into as far as being coached by Coach Dickman. He's a great coach, he, he knows the game. He, he's been there, that's one thing that's very rare at this level is to get a coach that actually played at a high level as well. He was All-American while he was here. So I remember the thing he said, first thing he said when we first got here, day one in the meeting, that I play with that in my mind every day. He said, you gotta go out there and play as if your DNA is better than his. That's what it comes down to is, it's my DNA is better than yours. And that's the first thing he ever said in the meeting room that I just took with me. And I just take everything that he says and it has great value to it. And he's a great coach. I wish I had 20 of them, you know, because those kind of players are what make football it is, what it is today. You know, and you look at I look back at his dad, and it's not by accident. He's the way he is. His daddy, it was, it's him. You know, his daddy was a pro, and he, the way he carries himself is, is just the same way. He's uh, always in, um, engaged, uh, always doing the little things to make themselves better. You know, that's a, that's why I love the fact that having that young man in, in my room uh, and on our defense and on our team. Yeah, it's a blessing to have it here at North Carolina. I just want people to to remember me as a as a warrior, as a player, as somebody who who sacrificed a lot, somebody who gave their all to the program. Uh, I just want people to remember our name is as more than just a name. I want people to understand that we, we put a lot into this university, and I want people to just. Uh, respect it. I guess everybody wants respect and when I'm done I just want people to respect what I've done here.